Hi, this is Tim Knight from Invest Tools here to tell you a bit about one of my favorite chart patterns called the Head and Shoulders pattern. I'm going to use profit charts here to give you a couple of examples of it. This stock is a symbol MTH, which is Meritage Home Corporation. As you can see, for a long time, this has been a very successful stock, moving from about two or three dollars all the way up to nearly a hundred dollars um, during the um, first half of the decade. But something began happening in 2005, which indicated the stock was stalling. And in retrospect, we can see this was a very uh, nicely formed head and shoulders pattern. This isn't a perfect pattern. I've, I've seen better than this, but this isn't bad. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line to help illustrate it. Um, so over in this portion, uh, this is what we would designate as the left shoulder. And following that, would be the head of the pattern and then following that would be the right shoulder which has the property of actually being lower than the left shoulder which actually uh, makes for a better pattern um, i've also drawn the neckline here which is this horizontal line usually you want to see a, a, a break a recovery and then a continued fall uh, this actually got a little bit of strength afterwards but then began to fall in earnest um, in the spring of 2006. So as we get some more recent perspective here, you can see that after this pattern, the stock fell uh, quite a bit, down to about 35, recovered all the way to about 50, and then began sinking more. And as of this uh, recording, it's at about 15, uh, having fallen about, what, 70% or so uh, from its peak. And you can plainly see here the head and shoulders pattern that uh, that I drew earlier. Let's take a look at a, an even more extreme uh, example. Uh, this one is the stock BRCM Broadcom. And uh, going back to 98, 99, 2000, we can see this stock had ascended from being a single digit uh, stock up into nearly $200. Uh, but in the later portion of 2000, it began its own stall. And using the horizontal line tool again, I'm going to illustrate here um, the, uh, the head and shoulders pattern. So in this instance, we've got uh, the left shoulder here, the head of the pattern. This is kind of a tough one because it actually sort of had two heads or two right shoulders. It's really up to you. But uh, we'll just call that the head right there. And then finally, a right shoulder, like so. And you can again see the neckline. And it, it actually uh, fiddled around and got beneath it once or twice, but really started falling meaningfully in November of 2000. So it fell hard um, from nearly 200 It was approaching $100, but it had much farther to go. Um, if you look here in retrospect, you can see here that after the pattern, it fell uh, to about 55 and then recovered all the way back to about 100 and then started sinking again. It was really trying to find a home uh, in the uh, upper double digit price range. But then it really started falling much harder and really didn't stop falling until it was once again a single digit stock. You can see here how the pattern is really dwarfed uh, by the fall subsequent to it. So I think this illustrates here how uh, potent this pattern can be um, when you uh, really learn to, uh, how to identify it and how to trade it. Uh, the risk usually is the lowest once it has broken the neck neckline and the price is recovered to the neckline. The stock has sort of tipped its hand at that point, and that's where it makes an attractive trade.